Okay, guys, uh, part two here. Sorry, um, my phone keeps ringing. Uh, people are trying to get a hold of me like crazy today. <clears throat> anyway, so where we left off, uh, I was telling you about Bezier curves. Um, basically, that is uh, what we use to create these nice rounded shapes. So I wanted to round off the ear here round it a little bit here as you can see I'm just clicking and dragging and uh, I deselect and there we have um, the first ear all right so you know we can go ahead and do another chunk here maybe um, uh, click on the path here and do some hair and in some cases I might not be really crazy about the lines that are already here so I may be slightly changing things I'm doing this fast also um, like I don't like this bit here so I'm just gonna go to there and continuing to click here click and creating our little curves for the nice chunky hair that we often have in anime deselect when I where I want and so just clicking and dragging to get the shape that I want. Can grab our hand tool, drag down. Let's do this other ear over here. Go to our pen tool, click, draw, click, draw. I can also use the scroll wheel on my mouse if your mouse has a scroll wheel to move the page up and down. And you can really get exactly into, uh, you know, where covering where that pencil was. Um, you can get really precise even with just a mouse. If you're really serious about getting into graphics like this, um, it's worth the investment to buy a um, light pen and a tablet. Um, but um, even with just a mouse, if you've got good mouse skills uh, and patience, you can go through here and you can draw uh, everything you need. So there's the uh, other cat ear. Um, and then, um, you can change up your stroke width. So say, um, I want, uh, this eyebrow to be really thick and I don't want to bother coloring it in. I could just take it up to say three points and, um, draw that, uh, eyebrow in. And then... And then uh, maybe I want to do these eyelashes in, um, maybe I think that they're too uh, heavy the way they are. Uh, I could take it down to uh, three quarters or even half of a point and draw them in with a, a less... heavy stroke I might feel the same way about the eye itself
Now, if I want to adjust a bit like this, where it's not exactly where I want it, what I can do is I can take the selection tool and select part of that path where the handle is, say, and just adjust it by hand, manipulating it how I want, like so. Maybe I want this to be more angled like that. You can really get in there and do stuff. Uh, another tool, you can say you wanna don't want to bother with filling this in. You can just grab your ellipsis tool and say give it a stroke weight here, or a stroke color, sorry. Double click on your fill brings up the color picker. I want it to be black and I can just rotate that a little bit and voila I have my cat eye without having to go through all the trouble of coloring it in. Similarly you can change your stroke to be your fill to be another color say so normally we would uh, take this image and then take it into, say, Photoshop to colorize it, um, or uh, the, you know, the printer client might colorize it. But say, <coughs> say we were doing something really quick and we wanted to do the color, we could um, do that ourselves too by choosing a color we like. Go to the color picker and you know, say I like this blue make that our fill color and then I can come in here and use the pen tool with a stroke weight of one and say you know I want my cat girl here to have blue hair and then as we draw along our path here it's filling it in blue So it curves this way, which puts the fill on this side. But as soon as I tell it that, you know, we're going this way with it, it's going to come back and make our lock of hair blue here. Now I could keep going all the way around and uh, make all her hair blue that way but you get the idea um, like anything uh, you know just like Photoshop and everything else um, it takes some playing around to uh, learn you know how to effectively use all of these tools but um, remember that whatever you draw last is always on top in your layers so uh, if I want to make this little bit look good, I could just go like this, cover up the end here, and now we have this lock of hair covering part of her eye and her eyebrow, um, etc. So, uh, really. Uh, Illustrator is a fun tool for those uh, of you who are into um, artistic stuff. Uh, basically, it is one of the important tools in your toolbox, uh, your digital uh, fundamentals toolbox. So that's why we covered it this week. I hope you've enjoyed this really brief introduction to Illustrator and um, I will not have you do a project with Illustrator, but uh, if you're interested in um, uh, opening it up and playing it around, I would highly encourage you to do so. Basically, if we wanted to save this, we would go save, and then the it would be an AI file or a Adobe Illustrator file. That file is pretty standard um, on most publishers except AI uh, files and um, we could close this and I could open it back up and keep working on it if I wanted. Um, as always it's non-destructive so um, we can go back and change things. 
I'm not going to save it, but um, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed a look at Adobe Illustrator this week.